Hi, uh, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a multi uh, antivirus rescue CD. Now, what you're going to need to do to do this is download a load of um, ISO images for for the actual each antivirus program. Let me just show you. So you've got Bitdefender Rescue CD, uh, F-Secure Rescue CD, and also Kaspersky Rescue CD, Panda Safe CD, and uh, Antivi, and you've got um, Doctor Web Live, uh, G Data, and and so on and so on and so on. Yeah. So once you've downloaded all those, you need to download a program. Now this program uh, has not got much publicity on the internet at the moment. There's probably only one or two people that mention about it, um, but it's a real good program. I think it's a, an Italian guy that's made it, and this is the application here. Um, you just add all these. Um, virus programs into one CD which is going to be really beneficial to IT support guys that want to clear off viruses and stuff like that or field service engine engineer guys also maybe home users want to keep the CD as a you know to get rid of viruses and stuff it's also got a load of other little toys in it that you can use it's got uh, Linux programs and utilities and stuff like that and you can get this program from this website here as, as you can see um, yeah, it's got English versions and uh, once you've done downloading that it's about two megabytes in size download the program click on it grab all these files out onto your desktop into a folder called whatever you want to do it I've called it the name of the actual application and then drag them inside there yeah, like so once you've dragged them in there you will be looking at something like this on your desktop and you need to get all your ISO images, all these images, and drag them, um, drag them inside this ISO folder like so. Okay, once you've done that, you're good to go. You can actually fire the program up. So let's actually fire the program up and see what we've got. Just allow that. Okay, so here we have. It's recognised these. It's put ticks in them because it says the ISO images are, are on the actual folder. So I've got all these programs ready to go. I've also got my uh, utilities, I've got uh, Windows Boot CD there, Clonezilla, and I've added NT Password, Parted Magic, and uh, System Rescue CD, and Ultimate Boot CD as well, which is a real great program. Added that in there, Linux, Astrami, um, Niblix, and uh, Puppy Linux I've added, and also, I haven't added none of these yet, but I will do at some stage. Um, you've got Windows Live, X, you've got Live XP, which is like a pre-installed environment on a CD, based on XP, uh, Megalab CD which is more of a, a bit like Ultimate Boot CD but uh, for more like foreign countries really like Ita Italy and stuff like that, Windows PE which is a great program and Ultimate Boot CD for Win, uh, that's a real cool program, I love that program, use that quite a lot and also uh, Vista PE which is obviously similar to these ones but it's a Vista based whereas this one's more XP based, okay? So you can actually create an ISO or a USB image, depending on what floats your boat and what you want to use. So all you need to do at this stage is click on create an ISO. Now once you've done that, you just let it do its thing. And then keep doing, then it do that, keep going until it installs all the images into one image, what it's going to do now is create one file, one image file, uh, so you can actually burn that to a disk and then you'd have all that incorporated into some sort of menu system, a bit like an ultimate boot CD really, but it's going to have the programs, all the antivirus programs, which is really useful. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly pause this at this stage, I'm going to watch this going through. Okay, so that's all done now, as you can see. It will be green if the actual image has been incorporated into one and then uh, be red if that means you've missed that part out. Okay, so I've obviously missed down small Linux and Slacks. Um, not that I don't like them, it's just the fact that I'm just using it for this tutorial. and I didn't want to finish the whole thing off. So I will actually incorporate these at some stage. Maybe make another video and do that when I've got all these prepared. Okay, so that's all done now. So we can actually close this off because we don't need that anymore. And if we look inside the folder, as you can see inside here, it's made a big one, big image, ISO image. So all we need to do now is I'm going to fire this up into a virtual machine so you can actually see it working. And uh, we'll go from there. 
So let's start this off. I'm using a virtual box here so you can actually see the program running. I'm going to move that down. Okay, this is the uh, interface that you've got here. We've got menu uh, for the antiviruses and uh, utilities and so on and so on. So if I wanted to use look at utilities, it will tell me the utilities that you can use. Okay, and that's obviously back. I know it's in foreign, but you can actually uh, you can actually uh, understand it. So I'm going to go into antivirus, and I'm going to actually have a look at, um, say for instance, uh, Bitdefender. Let's have a little look at that. Let that load up. Uh, once that's loaded in it will actually scan so imagine that your system is now not booting up at all and um, what you can do is put this CD in and it will actually clear off any viruses that you've got and hopefully you'll be able to boot back up to your system you can also incorporate as I said ultimate boot CD or ultimate boot CD for win on this CD which means you can also get to the desktop and see your actual hard drive itself and you can actually copy files from there and stuff like that so it's been it's useful for that as well okay just let this load in I've not tested this CD on the uh, virtual box yet so I don't know whether it's going to work but hopefully it does okay so we've got this uh, loaded up and as you can see this is loaded up now Bit Defender 2010 and it's now started to scan my system and there you have it that's uh, the Bit Defender and you've also got a few other bits and pieces on Bit Defender you've got check for root kits um, got a few other bits and pieces as I said it's now scanning as you can see so I think this is going to be really useful for any sort of uh, engineer any field service engineer or any sort of technician or anyone that likes to use this sort of stuff so let's have a little look at what else we can see on there before I finish off I'm just going to quickly restart reset this virtual machine so we get back to here we can have a look at the Linux side of things if we wanted to have a look at Niblex uh, root and let's have a little look at that Obviously, it's asking for a password and a username. And let this load in. Okay, that's nearly loaded in now. There we go. That's loaded in. And all we need to do here is put in the root for the username and uh, what was the other one? Um, I can't remember what the password was. I think it was that one it yeah it was okay so there you go that's uh, that loaded in let's reset and to try something else we got um, we can actually go into the utility side of things you've got the system rescue CD there we've got the ultimate boot CD we'll have a look at we've got ultimate boot CD as you can see pretty cool and uh, let's have a look at one more maybe G data or something I'll quickly pause this up okay so we've got the uh, G data boot CD So this is out of date and it will say do you want to update these you can say yes or no and there you go it's in a bit of a foreign language there but it doesn't really matter so much you can actually pretty much work out how to scan like so anyway i hope this has been some use to you i mean it's a real decent bit of kit it deserves more time really um but as i said you now if you have a little look at this website come to this website download the program, give it a go, build your own little CD and uh, it'd be great to have in your CD wallet.
My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope this video has been some use to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, show your support. Any questions, leave a comment or send me a message and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Any requests for videos, send a message and I'll try and make that video for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.